Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna uh, call the meeting to, to order. This is a meeting of the Springfield Women's Commission with uh, our guest today, Shara Cohen. Shara contacted me um, a few weeks ago about a very impressive unsung heroine in Springfield, Adele Addison, who, uh, Shara, I think I'll have you talk more about her because you have her background. Uh, and um, I'm hoping that the Springfield Women's Commission and the Community Music School can put together an event, a Zoom or a tribute uh, to Miss Addison because right now she's 97 years old. So, uh, and doesn't travel from New York City, but I'm hoping that we, with all of us together, we'll be coming up with a good idea. So Shara, do you wanna tell us a little more about Adele? Yes, definitely. I don't know how to get my face up here, but can you all well, can hear Can everybody me? hear uh, Shara? All right, we can all hear you, Shara. You can hear me. Okay, Adela Addison is a woman whose name is not familiar, but the okay, case things are switching. Um, she was born in Springfield, went to high school in Springfield. I don't know which high schools, but I can find out. She's 97 years old, as Katerie said. She's an opera singer, a classical music singer, and her claim to fame is she sang uh, opera at the Met and, um, well, other well-known places, New York Philharmonic. She was the voice behind Bess in Porgy and Bess, the movie. Unfortunately, she wasn't in the movie, but she is credited for the voice. She performed at Course Square at the church um, as a young girl and just grew up with music as her as her field just fell into it. She, um, she lives in New York City, is quite frail from what I heard. Again, she's 97, but I also heard that she's mentally quite capable she does not want to come to Springfield. My idea was, can she somehow be honored? Maybe if someone from video could go to New York and uh, and talk to her, but uh, we, we wouldn't expect her to come here. Maybe a visual montage with her voice singing from Porgy and Bess and, and all these operas. And I have a list of some of these. A lot of people don't know her, but again, uh, she's outlived many people who might know her. She sang at Symphony Hall as a young soloist. Her background in Springfield just grew and grew. And then she went off to New York and it grew more. She uh, married a doctor. They were married for 47 years. And um, look, that's a long time. He died a, a, about 20 years ago. Shara, um, does she have any family in Springfield? Just, it, we researched, as far as I know, just this one cousin who's like a third cousin twice removed, but she mm -hmm. had uh, seen her in the past two years, and that's how I know that she doesn't want. Uh, she really doesn't want to come to Springfield. That's that's a given. Whether well, she would accept. I was ninety seven. I don't know how many places I'd want to go either. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and at age ninety seven, I right. don't. What bothers me is I don't think she's ever gotten any recognition in this city born here, raised here, went to high school here, and then New York and fame, and we've forgotten her. I hope I'm wrong that something has been done in the past, but I don't think so. Yeah. And, I think and, and Shara, Shara uh, in, in case people aren't familiar with you uh, and your background, just share a little bit about yourself. Yeah. I know you're at Spotlight and, and you write a lot of grants and you do Okay. a lot of productions. So just give us a couple of sentences so the Women's Commission and Jerry okay. will know uh, 
I've been well, in the no, arts. We'll know all about you. I know Shara because she was my neighbor. So <laughs> three houses away, born yep. in uh, in Forest Park. Went to all the high, all the schools in Springfield. Uh, very involved in theater, every aspect except you will never see me act on stage. Right. Very, very involved in Springfield's history. It, it's just really in my heart. I created the monthly newspaper Bravo, went uh, on for 14 years, and Bravo on the Air radio program on WMAS went on for 15 years. All of these were not planned. Be careful what you wish for. I didn't wish for any of these, and they uh, really started to flow. I, uh, Bravo then became in the spotlight when newspapers really aren't what oh, they great. used to be. And yeah, they're just yeah. What? Um, so I have in the spotlight now, which oh, we promote the excuse me, Sharon, we just jumped by. Eileen McCaffrey Hi, from the Community Music School of Springfield. Hi, Eileen. I'm Hi. Sorry you Hello, didn't get here, and I'm, I'm so I'm happy so you're I'm uh, sorry I'm late. Well, that better late than never. We only have an hour though, because there's another um, uh, City Council subcommittee meeting at 5:30. But basically, uh, I think I shared with you that uh, Shara Cohn, who you know, is interested in having us um, do some kind of an honor for Adele Addison who was one of the first African-American opera singers from Springfield, went to Springfield schools and has not really received much recognition. And I'm hoping that when we put our heads together, there's a possibility that the Women's Commission and the Community Music School can do something to honor Adele Addison, keeping in mind that she's 97 and does not want to travel. But you always have great ideas, Eileen. So uh, that I'm, I'm hoping we can come up with something. And I would think- Peter, do we have any video clips of her singing, any photos? We could make like a cute video tribute where we all record ourselves. Say, of course, give her like a citation and something normal, but we yeah. could have her, you know, give her a video of herself and then uh, congratulate, uh, like a video address from you. Congratulations from the Springfield. I don't know. As well as videos of her from- the past. There probably won't be videos of her. Correct, of course. A video yeah. of her singing or maybe a photo, even if it's a couple still frame photos, we could link them together and say exactly. because of your performance, your commitment to music. And maybe newspaper clippings of a oh, wonderful cute. concert. Yeah, pictures of those. And do you know what school she went to, Shara? I'm sure that's easy to find out. No, I'm, I don't know if it was. And do, class, and do you know if they're still standing? <laughs> Classical tech or commerce, but in those days, if it was classical, it's probably called. And I looked at her bio that I put into the chat, what we were emailed from the city, yeah. and it just says um, after high school, she won yeah. a scholarship to study. It doesn't yes. name the school. Yeah, because if we, if we had the Springfield yeah. School, you can include that in the uh, montage, you know? Mm -hmm. and we, do you know where she grew up? Well, she grew up in Springfield. I don't know what section of Springfield. Yeah, that, I maybe, probably maybe we could have a few Springfield shots. I don't know if she had any siblings. She had no children. And as I said, she was married 47 years, so her husband had not been married prior. So there's really no family line except this distant cousin who I've identified. There may be more. I have so, done very little research. I found her and I was upset that, as far as I know, no one has honored her here in Springfield. Yeah, well, I, I think she certainly deserves it. Uh, let me ask the members of the Women's Commission, uh, Karina, would you be interested in a project like this? Sure. Yeah. And uh, Jillian, how about you? Okay. Oh, I think she's muted. Oh, okay, well, how do I? Okay, I'm the host. I have to unmute. Okay. Unmute yourself, yeah, Julian. Would you be interested in this project? Yes. Me too. Zumali, how about you? You're also muted. 
Uh, yeah, I would. Okay. So Eileen, you're also muted. Um, I, I don't feel as though the Women's Commission has the capacity to film this or put it together. Is that something the community music school could help us with? Do you have that capability? I mean, generally the answer is yes. And it sounds amazing. I, I think I, I apologize coming in late. So I don't really know when you say the project, I'm not sure about when it is, like if it's next oh, week. We, don't, we haven't, we haven't said anything yet. yet. Okay. So I think it's scaffolded so that, yeah, with some, like, of course, I mean, we would love to do, we, we've done all kinds of wonderful partnerships and this sounds amazing. Um, so conceptually, 100%, we have access to a our concert hall and we have access to doing these kinds of things but I just don't want to jump in and commit to like really understand like are you thinking like next fall are you thinking this summer oh, no, I, 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 she's 97 I, I mean I'm thinking it's Mara? something that happened to help maybe we could do it before the fall maybe this summer because what's her health like physical health uh, is Probably that of a 70, a 97 year old, which uh, is frail. That's the word I heard. She, yeah, she's frail. I guess that would be frail. Shara, who would you have to contact for her uh, to get the permission to do this or the interest for the Women's Commission and the I community? Don't have it with me right now, but I have the name of a cousin who lives in Springfield. And I asked her if she could find anyone else, and she said no. Of course, his cousin has siblings, but she's the only one who seems to have known to know her and has visited her. So it's just this one person that I know of. I have her name somewhere in my file here. Does she does she still have an agent? Is she represented by anybody? Well, I looked at CBS. Um, broadcast as well as the um, the label for Porky and Bess. And right now they said, we're hunting, we're not sure, we have to go back in the records, things like that. So I hadn't pursued as far as I can go yet. But I'm thinking there must be an agent company, if not a single person, who has the information from Porgy and Bess. And, and there have to be some records here in the Museum of Springfield History that have pictures and voice Maggie at Springfield Museum of History. It's really wonderful. I have not approached her. My feeling is if anything was done, do what could be done with her immediately because of her age. Yeah, yeah Catery, I was just going to suggest that in the interest of time, both for this committee and, and yeah. hers, find out her direct mailing address or work with her, mail her a citation and a lovely card. And then if you truly want a lot, what I would consider a larger design project, that would actually coincide with a larger conversation for us, to be honest, because like mm -hmm. the Springfield Women's Commission doesn't even really have a logo, right? So if we're making videos and things we, like yeah, that. We, we use we, the city logo. Yeah. Can, do we have to ask anyone permission to do that? I'm just trying to make the case that it's a larger project to make a video and that maybe no, we should just... we, don't, we don't have to. Yeah. No. We send her a lovely we're, car. Women's Commission is it. authorized to use that. Yeah. yeah. Sumali, you have your hand up, but you're muted. Yeah, I'm also cooking. Um, excuse me. Um, so I was gonna suggest before um Ellen made that suggestion of, you know, like a, a, a citation and a lovely card, um, you know, uh, that we can, depending on, you know, if the music school has capacity, right, like just have another like meeting, uh, brainstorming meeting around like, maybe we can do a video for her, you know, well, that's and, what I'm pre and present it, um, you know, one of us can go or some of us can go visit her and, 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 you know, just take a weekend trip and to, to give it to her. But my suggestion is maybe we could just, whoever does have capacity, just have a, like a separate co co committee on this 
um, mm -hmm. to see what can be done. Okay. And um, Eileen, uh, we could all get together in the community music school, right? And uh, do a tribute for her. And, and, and Shara, if she's got a cousin, maybe the cousin has pictures of her from growing up or some pictures of her in Springfield that could be included in this uh, video in, tribute. Uh, but I, not, I would want the tribute not only for Adele, but I think the rest of the community should see it and, and recognize yeah. that uh, she, she was educated here went to school here and went on to great fame. What about focus? Do they handle things like this? Uh, I, they I'm do, not... they do. I, I We've been working um, in terms of a project where you have a bunch of things and you hand it over and you ask somebody to pull together. We've, um, we've been working with Legacy Sounds, Andrew Maxwell, who's probably well known to, to all of you. Um, you know, we, we did, we used both Focus and Legacy Sounds for the MLK Day, but most of the production stuff that uh, was done by Legacy and then the live streaming of the event was Focus. So I guess that's the thing is there's so many ways that this could happen um, when everybody says immediately for us. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah, just, I mean, we have recitals that go right up until June. So if immediately is like next week. No, um, no, it's it, not. Okay. Right. So yeah. I'm just saying like, I, I, I just think I, it should be before fall. Before the fall, which is, which yeah. is great. And if it's creating a video, um, we absolutely could help um, get all the right people together to do it. Um, you know, uh, hosting an event that would showcase that um, that will take a little more time because in order to invite people and do all that, if you're bringing the video to the person and videotaping that, and then it, I, I just am, I'm a hundred percent behind this. I would love to be a partner in this and I appreciate being invited. Um, I just don't want to overcommit until I just kind of know like the direction that y'all are heading in, but I mean, Sorry. yes, yes, except yeah. Yes, and, and dot, dot, dot. Um, but in terms of the people, if you wanted to create a video and you had different sources of materials and we needed to do that, um, we've had great luck and th the work of uh, the folks at Legacy to just say, here's the project, here's the deadline, get it done. Um, Focus does amazing work. It's just that sometimes their deadlines because they have to respond to the city. Right, it, there's a lot of meetings coming up. There's a lot moment. of meetings coming up. So we really have to be intentional around that. So, um, and then having a gathering, we have the space at the music mm -hmm. school. If you yeah. all just said, you know, on June 24th, on a Tuesday at four o'clock or at five o'clock, could you all host something like this? I, I could I could make that kind of commitment if we had some clarity around what you all are, are thinking about in terms of like, I think a Saturday or a Sunday event would be a lot harder for us because we are open during the week, um, but um, and, and not so much on the weekends in the summer. So those are just some yeah. technical little details, but I love the well, idea. It's good, well, it's good to know you're interested in, in the project. Uh, let me just uh, do a poll uh, of my women's commissioners. Are, are you interested in, in being part of this tribute? Do you think you'd like to be on the video? Okay, seeing none. <laughs> yes, okay, we got a couple. So I, I think I, the I wasn't... video actually needs a person it could again us this montage with a voiceover, perhaps. Yeah. I'm not familiar with legacy. Is that a nonprofit? So um Shiro, one of the things that um I'm actually gonna be meeting with um with uh, Zydalis Bauer um in the next couple of days, but we've done things like that for grants when we've had to have um, you know, a, like a sort of a, a voiceover or someone who's puts it together. Um, so there's, there's so many people in our community and so many resources of folks that could, that would be happy to do it. I think that the way that I'm not sure who it was that was talking about, like sort of does the design of the project, I yeah. think one, like the who is less important for me than the what. So if y'all kind of can just sort of imagine the thing, then I could absolutely say to you, the voiceover would be this person and the video would be this person and the space would be this. Um, so anyway, that's my two cents, if that makes yeah, sense. I'm with you, Eileen, that was me. Eileen, we like <laughs> your two cents. Go. <laughs> I got to bump it up to 10 cents. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yes, and I, I certainly agree with that too as well. This is Ayana. Um, so thanks so much, Eileen, for being here and, and certainly sharing this space with all of us. I wanted to sort of add that um, I certainly have a lot of some of the same, probably same resources that you do have in terms of videographers and um, helping to sort of shape and, and, and put videos together. Um, and so I certainly could um, send over some folks that could certainly help in terms of coming from the women's perspective, Whole Women's Commission. Um, and um, so we can certainly collaborate on that. I think it sounds like a great idea, but like you, I'm also sort of looking at deadlines and timelines and really being thoughtful in terms of, you know, what is the direction we're going? Um, what is sort of the objective? And also what is real, like, like what is a the real theme, right? And so what are we saying? You know, how are we saying it? And I'd love to look at sort of shaping the, the verbiage, if you will, and or the text and or um, the script. Um, Cause I've worked with um, lots of folks uh, behind the scenes with those sort of details. And so I certainly could help um, with that. So a um, lot, of, lot of moving parts as you, yeah. as you probably know, um, but I think if we, once we decide what that looks like, uh, we can certainly uh, pull together those uh, particular elements to make this happen. Um, and so I'm on board, um, but again, right. we just have to sort of create that timeline and uh, figure out those particular details uh, because it's, it's, it's a big undertaking. I mean, we can be very you know, frivolous or we can be very light, but there's a lot of um, details to, to this type of project. And I wanna be conscious of folks' time and their commitment and their willingness, right, to, to do this work because again, it can be very tedious at times. And so I've been on the back end and the front end and the side end and all in between. So um, so we just have to clarify, you know, how we're going to move forward with it. But I think it's a lovely idea and I certainly appreciate um, Sheriff Cohen for bringing this to our attention um, mm -hmm. and, and allowing us to, to, to be able to do this, um, especially since, you know, she is 97, and that is certainly a, a, a well um, learned, and well traveled, and well um, uh, a piece of knowledge that we should all know about her history. And so that that would be Absolutely. wonderful. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah, great, great ideas, Ayana. And I see Chanel from the mayor's office because I I'm thinking that in this tribute, obviously, we want to have a tribute from the mayor and the superintendent of schools. But if yeah. any of the schools that she went to are still around, uh, whoever is principal at that, you know, something that will resonate with her from her time, her time in Springfield. So um, I wasn't, I don't know about an event, I was envisioning more getting together and just putting to having people together to do a tribute that could be filmed and then presented to her but that's you know um, i'm certainly open to to ideas maybe something small could initiate this while she still is alive a proclamation yeah. a letter from the mayor yeah if she would accept someone to visit her and present these and film this and then right. think later not necessarily an event but the video, the montage, maybe this could be a static display somewhere in the community music school or the, the high school she went to rather than, I think it's a lot of work having many components of this one from, you know, do, does this and that. Um, something quick than giving time for something that would come next. Being quick being the honor from the mayor and a proclamation and an article in the newspaper. Right. Um, Wayne Fanis loves doing things like this and uh, Joe Carvalho. Getting something read and on uh, uh, Mass Alive, not Mass Alive, the one on NBC, which I can't remember, but getting a front page or above the fold article in the Republican and a Mass Live. So we better bring in somebody 
from the Springfield newspapers and to be part of it. Guild woman. Yeah, yeah, that would bring somebody in from the Springfield newspapers. So give me a rough idea. Um, Eileen, is there gonna be a cost involved in this? <gasps> so, you know, I'll, I'll, let me tell you what our line item budget is, zero. So, you know, most, most everything we do is in kind. Right. Do you think there's so, going to be a cost involved? I do when it comes to hiring somebody to do the video. So just to give you an idea, we can give you the space at the music school for free as long as we're not having to host, you know, food and all that. Right. So space right. is fine. So I have no problem with that, Katerie, to say, you know, if, if we're going to use the space. But um, when we... It, when we create video for the Dr. King Day celebration, or if we're asking for the, the person on the other end, I think what Ayana was talking about is, you know, the, the folks on the other side of that take time. And unless they're uh, asked to do it for free and are brought in as a partner, um, it, you know, you're looking at, I mean, even at the great, you know, even at a discount i mean it's somebody's got to get paid for the time the production side right. of it making the video right. and putting it together so um i i would not be in a position to say to andrew maxwell and legacy sounds like come and do this project that's going to take maybe 20 hours of your time and do it for free right. um, perhaps that's where other folks here on the call have some other um uh, folks that that are more inclined to do that that work so what I can offer is my um if, with a space for sure um okay. the fact that as musicians um we would love to be part of this but I don't think I would be in a position to say that I could create a video that might take a whole lot of production time and do it for free because we don't have internally the capacity for that. We have to outsource that. But maybe that's where focus comes in or other. Yep. I other could ask focus. Uh, and Shara, because you're a great grant writer, just just any of this sound like a grant you well, could apply uh, for? Yes and no. I did write a grant to the Springfield Cultural Council. and and asked for more money than I received, which is kind of the norm. And uh, it focuses, it focused on four famous women from Springfield, one of whom was Adele Addison. But because of the amount of money that in the spotlight received, uh, it just can't, it, it really can't happen. So yeah. then COVID came, and that grant went away completely. Yes, it was fundable, but um, not now. Uh, all right, well, it'll be fundable again, but she probably won't be here much longer. Well, you know, what I'm thinking as we're talking about this is maybe we do the piece, of course, we want her to see the tribute. So, yeah, uh, we got to work out these details. Um, I will have a conversation with in focus and see if uh, this is anything that they can do. But what I meant, Cheryl, was there, can you think of somebody we can apply to for a grant? Of course, it takes a while to get a grant. In this case, uh, it, it takes one person talking to another person with power to make that happen. Uh, okay. And I'm not in that ill good people who know people. Yes, there are grants and there's the Massachusetts Cultural Council and uh, and up higher, higher, higher. But the Springfield one is the easiest and we'd have to wait almost a year for that. All right, well, it sounds like we need to have more, obviously we need to have more in-depth discussions and maybe everybody get together at an in-person meeting. So- um, There was an angel in Springfield who is, who has the money, obviously, and the love of arts and perhaps um, African American singers, opera singers? I don't know that angel, but maybe there are. All right. Well, I think I will take it on to. Um, we obviously have a location, and and Sherry, you can do the contact work with the cousin. And I will speak to and focus about what they can do for us and see 
if there's something that could be put together. And Chanel, you can uh, speak to the mayor and tell him this is what we want to do and ask him if there's any uh, funding uh, through his office, because sometimes the mayor's office has pockets of, uh, of, of discretionary monies to honor Adele Addison. You know, that anything that could be helpful uh, to get the project off the ground and stuff. And uh, Ayana, you know, your contribution is, is valuable too. So we're all in agreement that we want to do it. It's just uh, how and when. So thank you. Karina, you're very good at getting people to do things, you know. <laughs> I know I try. <laughs> you got to look out through, uh, through, through your contact. Cher, do you know if um, Adele Addison uh, was a member of any church here in Springfield? I was just thinking that. I'm not sure if it's in one of these handouts. I would guess, and this, I could be wrong, but St. John's. Or maybe she sang there. I had some research on that, but I whipped it yeah. out quickly. If, if you can do that, there might be like a partnership. I mean, if she was a member of St. John, and uh, that that might be another source of or uh, contribution or contribution to the project. Yeah. So, all right. So I think I think. We have accomplished what I wanted to do with this meeting, and that is to find out if the Women's Commission and the Community Music School was interested in the project. The answer is yes. Um, I will talk more in depth to Shara and to uh, Eileen and see what actually needs to be done and see if we can make a list and if there are uh, different projects that different members of the uh, Women's Commission can take on. I don't think, Sumali, that she actually wants anybody to visit her. Is that correct? Shara? Uh, she's hard pressed for that. She, she will visit with a family member of whom I only know the one and I'll find out. Yeah, because it would she, be great if we could actually get her on the... Uh, she has visited her, but she came back with the word that she doesn't want any visitors. I think she would accept a proclamation and, and some form of paper or video that's given to her in an article. I'd like to stress the, the article that she can then get and see. But no, I don't think she wants people knocking on her door. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. I was just making suggestions. Yeah. As to like, you know, what are some, you know, the spearhead the idea of like, what are we going to do? Yeah. Well, I, I think it's a wonderful suggestion if, if she had been open to it. But Cher, if you could put together, um, do some detective work and find out more about, you know, where she went to school and yeah. things like that, that we, we certainly could either, we can include in uh, the video if the school is still standing and, you know, stuff like that. So I think, we, you know, um, well, I think what we should do is give it some thought and meet again next month. What? It had to be one of the three high schools. Yes. Julian, put something on the chat. Classical High, it's up there right now. Oh, really? I didn't no. see that. Mm -hmm. So oh. I just saw that article. I saw that article from, I guess, a couple of years ago when we um, honored Gwen Isel. And he was listed in there as one of the people attending uh, Classical High at the time. And I guess it was some type of display. Okay. Okay. I got disconnected the here. The library now has all the yearbooks from the beginning of classical. So that's a guess okay. that she went to class. Well, that's a project. Is it all online? I don't know. I could ask the current president of the Classical Historic Commission, the commission committee. Well, I don't it, think it's online. We certainly could do something with the the facade of classical, even though they're not condominiums, but you know, that, that's doable, I think. Maybe um, maybe uh, in focus as summer interns. This might be a good project if they have an intern. Do the high schools have any of their own students who major in video or who are involved in video? 
Um, I, I will tell I you, Shara, that um, the asking yeah, schools, we're, we're embedded in, we work with 35 schools in Springfield and in Holyoke and asking the schools to do something this late in this in the school year is a, it's a heavy lift like it really is it's it's like they they plan their year so far in advance i think it's a lovely project if it were something for next year you mm -hmm. could um you could ask one of the arts teachers or one of the you know teachers to to choose a student and do a project but it's um you have to be a little careful cuz you know it's been a long year for our teachers and asking them to do extra stuff is just, it feels, it doesn't intend to be disrespectful, but it lands as a little bit like, you don't understand how we're like you know, already through the end of the school year. I don't mean we, but the teachers. Um, yeah. So I think that's not my favorite ask because it doesn't mean that if we had this scaffolded as a real project and we wanted to include some youth art or youth music or youth something to that kind of an invitation once it's sort of already sort of put together to put be a part of is a is a more um I think a more appropriate ask um you know a lot of this is about timing and because right. of if we have more yeah, I mean, there's, there's, um, you know, there's the Jazz and Roots Festival and, and you know, that's happening this summer and other ways to incorporate. There are, unless you only have like a month, in which case you kind of have to work backwards, I think, from, from that. And, you know, I was even thinking like maybe um, if she doesn't want to have anybody come in video or whatever, perhaps one of her family members could do something as simple as an audio, just a little clip of an audio. Like there's, there, there are ways to, without being intrusive that can, if the family member is down with it, that's what I would recommend is that they either have a conversation, you know, like the story core they do on um, the uh, public uh, tele public radio or whatever. They just, you just turn on your phone and you talk right. to your family member and then you send that over and that can be overlaid with some, some, uh, you know, uh, not just video, but any, you know, pictures or slideshow or anything like that. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be like the most complicated thing ever. Right. It can be simplified, but I would just, um, that's a long way of saying it would, it, it hurt my soul when we were thinking that maybe the schools could take this project on. Cause I think they're, um, you know, they're so far down the track with the last couple of weeks of the school year that it's difficult to ask for them to start new projects is kind of my, my right. Team. I mean, if we had a whole year to plan this, I mean, we could do, we could have done our whole uh, 2024 uh, Women's Commission uh, uh, ceremony around her, but we don't have the, uh, we, you know. But is there any way? Is there any way that we can do like a read out loud bio at the Jazz Fest? That way, m the most of you know in in audience is already there, and. Mm -hmm. um, Exactly and right. that be recorded and possibly like send her the citation, some flowers and the recording of like, you know, her acknowledgement here in this in the city during the Jazz Fest. Maybe we can combine with them. Right. And okay. so that's the kind of thing, you know, I'm meeting with Kristen on Friday, Kristen Neville. And so as long as it's a little ask, not a big ask and the little ask to your point is totally something we could say that is a forum that's already people are already there and could we take so that's why i think um yes for me that's how i like to do things is build networks of people that are already doing a thing and say what can right. we do that isn't asking too much of them so if there is something that's created could it be shown in front of an audience absolutely could that ask be pretty minimal and just basically say we are in the business of lifting up our own people from springfield who've gone on and done extraordinary things and raise awareness for our young people for for all of us absolutely and if that little gem whatever that is it gets put into something for next year that's a bigger project that's just one little piece of the puzzle and then maybe it's a mosaic of other you know the the Ruth Carters of the world the, you know there's so many extraordinary yeah. people here so instead of thinking like we have to do it all in the next whatever I, I really like your your linkage there because yes I think I could say to Kristen 
we had this conversation. We don't really know how big it's going to be, but could we just make a simple video with some voiceover? Maybe some some of the family, a family member could capture some audio. And could it be, is there some way during the jazz festival that that could be shared? I think that's a reasonable ask as long as it's a fully formed thing. And Kristen doesn't have to have the Jazz and Roots Festival build it. They just have to show it, right? And I think, um, Zumali, that's what you're talking about, right? It's just sort of leveraging the the groups that we already have doing things that have a lot of audiences, yeah? Absolutely. I'm a total fan of that. Love that. I, I, that's uh, a great idea. Uh, what What is the date of the Jazz Festival, do you know? It's, it's July. in July this year, right? The end of July. Yeah. Uh, mid July, I think. I feel like it's the either the fourteenth or I should know, but it's either the fourteenth or the twenty first. One of those. One of those. Okay. Uh, all right, we we can work around it. So, uh, Jerry, did you have any after listening to all this? Do you have any suggestions? Um, no, I don't have any particular suggestions. I think it's great that this is somebody that we that we should honor as a as a community, as a city. I I think all the suggestions you guys have made of or phenomenal. I, I have no particular thing. I'm, I'm just happy to be here. So thank you for having me. No, oh, well, thanks for joining us. Uh, Jerry is running for city council, but remember you have more than one vote, everybody. <laughs> Maybe when you get elected, you can join the women's commission. <laughs> I would absolutely love to. I'd love to. <laughs> um, I like that idea, Zumali, about the jazz festival. I think that simplifies a lot of what, what we can do. You know, and maybe we'll have other pieces that we can put into it. Does uh, In Focus film the jazz festival, Eileen? So it's not In Focus. It's just called Focus Springfield. Oh, focus. Yeah. Yep. Um, and yes, they're involved as a partner. Um, there's many, many like uh, layers of uh, yep. expectation around that. They have a lot. They work with laudable productions, which does yep. the bomb X, um and all that. So I think... Again, zooming out of like a big idea, zooming in is to say, I'm meeting with Kristen on Friday. Okay. And what I can say to her is that there's an opportunity to lift up another artist from Springfield, right. in this case, a musician and a woman who was groundbreaking in her own in her own right. Well, I mean, judging by her age, for her to break into opera must have been uh, quite a path. But that's where the opportunity for the storytelling is. So that's kind yeah. of where that's where we got to figure out who who has access, right? Yeah, yeah. Who has and access to her story beyond just what we can all cobble together? So I, I think Shara, that's on. That's going to be your your. That's what you I find a family member that will just pull out their phone, mm -hmm. and if if this group can ask the kinds of questions or mind that in some way, then you've got, you've got all, it's like going to the farmer's market, you know, first you go and you see what, what's out there and yeah. then you build the recipe based on what you got. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the cool thing is if we could get some first person account in some right. way is an intrusive man, we could, we could fly with this because it's a, it's, and it's part of a bigger story. Right. which is not right. in our Especially country. since, you know, if she's never gotten any recognition from her hometown, that's a whole other, you know, story. Uh, I'm going to just quickly ask Ayana because we've got to be off the um, the call so the next subcommittee meeting can use the Zoom link. Ayana, I know you, I just read that you like this idea. Yes, I do. <laughs> I think it's a great <laughs> idea, phenomenal idea. I wanted to also say uh, Representative Ramos's office can offer a um, citation from the state as well. And so I think that would also um, give um, sort of the level of recognition that she's really deserving um, would also add to. So I wanted to add that as well. Great. Well, you guys have great ideas. So Eileen, you'll, uh, you can get back to me after you meet with uh, Kristen. And then I'll, you know, I will communicate with the, uh, the Women's Commission where we are and and what seems the next step? How's that sound? Okay. Well, thank you everybody for being on the call. I think there's a uh, uh, finance meeting coming up uh, for the city council. So I'm gonna sign off and I will be in touch with all of you. Thanks for joining me today and thanks for supporting this idea. And Shara, thanks so much uh, for bringing this to our attention and hopefully we'll be able to do something for uh, Adele Addison that she will 
uh, she will know we're doing it and, and her health will last long enough for her to appreciate our effort. So thanks mm -hmm. so much for soon. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone. Take care. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye. See you soon. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.